You know, Megan, I want you on this side because this week we're going to switch it up. Hey everybody, it's Walker and Megan at Hi. Full Spectrum Laser and welcome to Inside the Laser Lab. Yes, live. We are live, so anything, you know, there could be any mistakes being said right now. Oh gosh, too much pressure, too much pressure. <laughs> too much. All right, so this week, like I said, we're decided, we decided to go along, switch it up, and take Jeanette's idea from last week. Oh, very exciting. Thanks for the idea. Yes. <laughs> so her idea was switch plate covers. Perfect. Which everybody knows is a super fun topic. Yeah, they're yeah. Um, always very exciting. Yeah. They're usually just blank and white and there. So we decided to switch it up and make some really cool ones. Um, I, I made a plain one. Okay. So any beginners out there. Oh, that's not that plain. That's awesome. Any beginners out there, they can get the, those dimensions, cut them out, engrave anything that they want on there. And I just included this file just in case you like the little deer in the tree. Wonderful. So Under Laser 101, right? Under yes. Projects? Projects Laser 101. I believe it's Project 93 now we're up to. Wow, we're already up to 93. Yeah. And you've made all those, haven't you? I've made, yeah, I think 92 of them. 92 so. of them. That's pretty impressive. We want to see if you guys make any of them too. So tag us in any of the projects that you managed to make. So... There is one special one I wanted to show. It's, it's a little bit more exciting than engraved deers. Okay. But I figured we'd jump into Pinspirations real quick just to show our inspiration. My favorite part of the show. Besides Jeanette, but thank you. All right, are mic's still on? All righty, so I thought this guy was cool because it's a dual, you know, dual setup but it's got hooks and a little stand. Oh, that's perfect for when you just get in the door and you need to hang up your keys, yeah. set down your wallet. Exactly, I love this idea. Um, just super useful, straightforward. Unfortunately, I don't have a switch right next to my door, so this wouldn't <laughs> apply to me, but um, I think it's a really good idea, making it multifunctional rather than just you know a rectangle on your I wallet. love that. You can have everything ready to go when you walk out the door then. Well, yes. not you, since you don't have a light there, but yeah. everyone else. We'll make it happen. <laughs> and then this wasn't laser cut, but you could easily laser cut this. Mm -hmm. I thought this was awesome, um, especially if you actually hid the switch and you open it up. That's so cute. I love it. I know. Just floating door. Like, imagine that in a kid's room. He's got his imagination going. He's like, what's inside here? You know, he <laughs> builds stories about yeah. that door. I just love ideas like this, especially for the kids. Um, next. <laughs> love it. Again, a kitty one. A rocket, nice and clean, very simple. You can bust those out all day, and they try. Oh no! Oh my god! They cost about, you know, cents to make. That's what's really great yeah, about. Yeah, that's things. just a wood sheet that you engrave and cut. So that's so easy. It is so easy, and I found out that you do need a back piece just to offset it from the wall because there is a little bit of a gap, oh, but okay. not that big of a deal. That's good to know. And then this oh, one. Oh, I love that one. Yeah. With the fat little Malamute on there. <laughs> it's I, so cute. I know. That person simply, well, if I wanted to achieve this, what I would do is put masking tape on it, mm -hmm. engrave it, and then paint it, and then peel the masking tape off. That's perfect. I'd definitely do that for my dog. Yeah. We need to do that for Mako. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> and then this one really inspired me. Oh, dang. Me. That's cool. It's got the orbitable, uh, orbitable, or can't even speak today. <laughs> the gears right there. And uh, and yeah, and on and off. I just think it's really cool. It toggles from on yeah, and off. Yeah, moves when you do it. That's really neat. This I love steampunk stuff like that. I know. But stuff that actually works. Actually yeah. works. You don't want <laughs> hot glue gears all over the place and nah, call it steampunk. No. Hot glue is not steampunk. Go the extra mile. Make it yeah. turn. <laughs> yes, you need hardware and gears that move. And then this one moves too. You just move the little... Oh pirate thing and it moves the anchor up and down that's perfect i love I know. it super clean i love simple. the ocean so i'd definitely put that in my house yes this Bathroom, is not a cool theme this is california all over it. 
And then this is actually one we've already made before. Yeah. It's a bit seasonal, or if you have your own laser lab and you want it to look like Frankenstein's uh, <laughs> lab, then you can make this. This is one of our projects. Actually, Brooke designed most of this. I helped her make it work. Good job, Brooke. But yes, I love this project. And it's a bit steampunky too. You just need to paint it more bronzy, right? It's pretty awesome. You made that originally for Halloween, right? Yeah, I believe But that was really, a you can project. just whoop, yeah. put that in the garage, put that in your workspace. <laughs> so, one sec, let me turn on the laser. Boom! <laughs> well, go. not an explosion, <laughs> though. <laughs> Unless you're real cool or something. Oh, well, perhaps, what, I guess. Whatever's going Hopefully on. not. <laughs> so, what I really wanted to share, and I'm actually super excited about this project. Usually, I make a project, I like it but I'm not super in love with it. And I'm in love with this guy, and he is... He's so cute. I love him. The... <laughs> Perfect. Turns on and off. His, uh, what is that? His antenna goes up. Essentially, he dies. And then, <laughs> yeah, then his, comes back his eyes. As you toggle the switch. Perfect. Look at that little gift. That's so cute. So I'll need cool. one of those. I know, I feel like everybody that I posted on my Instagram, they're like, I need this. But I love this guy. And let's go through the steps on how I create him because it's very simple and straightforward and you wouldn't believe it, right? Okay, no, I wouldn't believe <laughs> it. It looks rather complicated. So first you have a back panel with an opening for your switch to fit through. And then you just have those two little circles. Hmm. That's gonna be your pivot point for the arms actually. So you want to glue those little circles in the vector mark circles. So simply glue those guys Don't in. Don't lose those. Yes. What kind of material are you doing this on? That's a great question. So this is our brushed silver from Romark. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, and it cuts great. It's plastic, but it looks like metal. So it's perfect for this robot application. I love how shiny it is. I know. <laughs> looks just like metal, even if it's not. I know, brushed aluminum looks great. So you're gonna do the same kind of thing. You're just gonna glue this edge around the robot itself except there's gonna be a gap for where his antenna comes out and his arms. So glue that around there. And then the next one, <laughs> we'll have the centerpiece. Now that's, that little circle is where you're gonna stick the switch. Okay. And that's what's actually moving in, up and down inside the robot. So you don't wanna glue him in at all. Yeah, it needs to be moving. Yes. Perfect. And then you just add the arms and make sure the tabs on the center guy are inside of the arms. Hmm. And that simple mechanism is what makes that arm move up oh, and down. Oh, that's so easy. I know, it's super simple. <clears throat> and then you glue on the top panel, making sure that you've glued around those edges and on the top of those little circles. Nowhere else. And that way, once you push it down, it dries. All the center pieces move. So Perfect. no glue on the arms or the center piece. That's, that's simple. Enough. What kind of glue are you using? Just regular glue? Super glue. Okay, so super yeah. glue. You're not awesome. gonna wanna use like uh, Elmer's glue. Yeah, I was wondering. Uh, Elmer's <laughs> glue doesn't work too well. That stuff barely glues paper together, so. Okay, so no Elmer's glue. No. Otherwise say, it'll be falling off in the middle of the night. I would, I would say unless you're like three years old, Elmer's glue doesn't apply anymore to life. Well, uh, that's good to know. I'm so sorry, Mr. I may Elmer. or may not have some in my drawer at home. Oh, okay, so. toss it. <laughs> You know, the dog get that super glue, right? Okay. <laughs> okay. I told you. Um, <laughs> so I hope you guys like this project. Any questions on Facebook or? Nope. I wait. Where's no? Oh, it's we I. can't see Facebook today. Oh, sorry I'm about sorry, that. Guys. If everybody is saying hello, but hello yeah. to all of you. <laughs> it died. Okay. Alrighty. Well, that's what happens in life. Yeah, you know. I guess so. <sighs> so I just Sometimes you just run into. Rough patches, yeah. but that's Technical okay. Technical difficulties. <laughs> we get past them. We're just talking to ourselves right now. Yeah, so, basically. <laughs> thank you for this suggestion, Jeanette. I can't wait to hear more suggestions from you guys. Um, join us on... On Twitter and Instagram and here on Facebook every day. We're always yes. posting new content and new ideas for you to laser. Yes, and any comments that you have, please share with us. We'd mm -hmm. love to hear your advice on anything. And I would say, until next time. Keep making. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you like those videos, please subscribe. We got more videos in the over here. 